Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's just Jack to you. Today we are going to complete an ab routine that is going to work your transverse muscles, like those internal muscles. So let's just go walk through the science for you real quick. Our fibers in our abdomen, they run up and down, but then we have the transverse that are a little deeper inside. Those wrap around all the way around. So those are the muscle groups we're really going to attack. That's like your internal corset. All right, I have the timer set up. But if this isn't clear enough, I'm going to set the timer up on, uh, on the bottom of the screen. And now we're going to begin in the plank position. <clears throat> you know what? Hold on. Hold for one. Hold for one. Reset. Here we go. So three, get into your plank positions. Two, and begin. You're going to work off of your elbows, feet up, core in. Bring your belly button into your spine. And that hold is for one minute. Make sure you're breathing through it. Your butt should be tight and your belly button into your spine. That is the main thing that I want you to take away from when you're working on these, uh, on these planks. Your shoulders and your elbows need to be in line with one another. We can work from our hands or we can work from our elbows. It's solely up to you. I feel like I get more activity working off my elbows. Feet tight, let's check out the timer. I can't see. You know what? We have. 17 seconds left. Ah, I can hear it. Very nice. And that should be time. One minute hold. Beautiful. Now, timer has started again. You're going to transition into the next uh, hold. However, I'm going to give you 15 seconds of a break here. All right. You got your 15 seconds. We're going to restart, reset rather, and we go into it one minute. The hold is going to be like this. Hands here, feet here, up. Bring that butt up. Keep it engaged. We're going to touch our hamstrings, but believe it or not, you're still working your transverse muscles. So this is actually really great for your pelvic floor as well. So if you've had cesareans, girls, ladies at home, or fellas, if you've had babies and you want to help your girl out, maybe sometimes it's hard. Um, now a break was longer. Anyway, I'm not going to explain anymore. I'll say after. And begin and up. Just like this. So besides working the abs, your arms are getting worked. And our hamstrings. So let's get comfortable in this hold. Back to the pelvic floor conversation. Uh, to strengthen that, you want to do holds like this. When, once you've had a cesarean, your muscles are not as strong in that area, but this is going to help with your bladder. This helps with your JJ. <laughs> and you know what? This applies for boys and girls. You can do Kegels while you're holding in these positions. So keep that in mind. That's actually healthy <laughs> for you. We're basically done with this hold. We only got another 15 seconds left. Okay. Oh man, I'm a little sore from yesterday and I feel like doing things like this actually helped me loosen up. So we got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We hit time. Very nice. Very nice. Pause. We're going to transition into our next hold. We're going to go back into the plank position, but now we are going to bring our shoulders into the game. So just the same type of hold, except we're putting our hands on the ground. All right, you guys are ready. I mean, hopefully you're ready at home. I think I give you like a 30 second break. Let's hit that reset button. Three, two, one, and begin. Same thing, guys. Now this one, this is what I want you guys to remember the takeaway here. Elbow, wrist, Shoulder are in line. They're straight. Feet, you can put them together. You can go further apart. That do doesn't change the engagement in your abdomen. But what always does change it is where your belly button is. You can make this harder by rounding. Round your abdomen inward. You bring your back up if you want to make it harder. If not, this is great. Whatever feels good for you, just hold for that one minute. We're almost done, you guys. This one minute went by really quickly, I feel like. 
remember, we are targeting our transverse muscle groups. So where you may not feel like, oh my gosh, you're destroying your abs, your core, you are. Three, two, one. Very nice. Mm, stretch it out. Ah, nice and stretched. You should be feeling warmed up. We are going to go into now working them. So this is called a hollow. Let's go through what a hollow is. Or I think in the yoga world, they call it boat or something like that. I don't know, I've been getting private lessons. It's hard to remember all the names. So you lean back, you bring your legs up, point your toes. This is gonna help you with the muscle glutes here, but it definitely hits the abdomen, but your quads are getting activity. And I want your hands off the ground. If you can, just like this, turn into a little boat. If you cannot, this is the modification, hands here, all right? We're gonna go for one minute. Three, two, and hollow. The straighter you keep your toes, the better. Knees straight. If you get tired during this, rather than quitting, I would rather you grab yourself and go back in. Don't fall apart, okay? Concentrate on breathing. Hollows are essential for your obliques. They actually build your back up too, it's not just your core. Hand positioning is solely up to you. I prefer to keep my hands like this. Don't ask me why. I feel like I get a little bicep activity rather than this. I feel like I'm working against what your, my, my body would naturally be inclined to do, which is collapse this way. We're almost done. You guys, it hurts for me at home too. So if you're dying, remember, hold there. Don't let go, don't quit. And if you need to use your hands, that's okay, I'll take it. Almost there. And done. How are you feeling at home? I hope, I hope you're feeling good because we have more to this. So now what we're gonna do is an adaptation of that hollow. Um, we're gonna bring our legs out and then we're gonna bring them back in. I want you to keep your knees as close together as possible. This is going to be for one minute. Rather than trying to follow counts, I like timers. Timers are just easy because guess what? If you can only hold for 10 seconds today, you can try again tomorrow and hit 11. You guys know I'm about the path of least resistance and creating habits. So let's not disrupt our mind by overwhelming it. Let's do our best and use the timers, all right? Y'all ready? Again, you bring it in, knees close together. And if you need to have your hands on the floor, that's okay. But I'd rather you didn't. Three, two, one, and begin. Out, in. This is a balancing act. And when you balance, you have to use a lot of muscle groups. But with this guy, we are really tackling our lower abdomen. So as you lean down, you're gonna start seeing parts of your body you've never seen before. We all have muscle groups underneath the fat, but revealing the abdomen has everything to do with like our diets. That's so essential because you could do all this hard work, but if your diet is off, it's gonna be a hard time before, or a long time rather, before you see it. Keep working. We only have 20 seconds left. Whew. I'm getting taxed. You know what's getting work too? Our hip flexors, our quads, mainly our lower abdomen, and our back actually. It's a full body. I told you guys, we're doing full body with a lot of core. Work out strategically. And time. How do you feel at home? I feel a lot of activity here. This is a beautiful, beautiful, I, I, I really enjoy doing those. Now, we're gonna go turn right back around into the plank position, but this is gonna be a little more challenging. We are going to do mountain climbers, sort of, but you're gonna move this very slowly. So you're gonna stay active here, all right? So get into your position. I'll show you guys before I cut that timer on. This is your position. Off your hands, not your elbows. Just like this, you bring it in, out. There's no speeding through this movement. Work slow through it. All right, you ready? Three, two, begin. Bring those knees as close to your elbows as possible. If you can reach your arms, excellent. If you can't, do your best. 
Uh oh. <laughs> my watch is letting me know that I've hit my goal for the day in my workout. But I just wanted to create this for you guys because I think it's important to work these muscle groups. These are areas that you can work every day. You don't have to limit yourself when it comes to training your abdomen. Why? Because that keeps you safe through a lift, that keeps you safe through a, a run that's intense. If you keep that core tight, baby, you're less likely to get hurt. And who doesn't like strong, a strong midsection? That's your trunk. That's your center of everything. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't set the timer. And no one was there to tell me. Okay. I'm going to estimate that we got another 10 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. That's time. You should be feeling a little taxed at home. Don't worry. We just got one more. I think we had to have done at least five minutes worth. Now, you see how I bring us this way, that way, this way? I feel like working too much here is going to tax my shoulders too much. So I turn it around. All right. These are a goodie. These are old school for me. This is my place of origin. Let's see if I can still do these. I don't train like this anymore. Whew. Okay. Feet straight, excuse me, toes pointed like a ballerina, knees straight. You're gonna bring your legs all the way up. Look at your feet, bring them down. I just need you to go about six inches of, um, above the ground. And try to control this so the movement will be slow. Let me make sure that my timer is actually on this time because we are now trying to work forever, all right? Let's go. Head off the ground. Keep your hands on your side not under your butt. If you need a little extra assist, you can put it under there, but try to get those hands here. If it becomes too taxing, use your hands to put them through the ground. And if we keep our head up, we work harder. If you're too tired, whew, you can work this way. All right? So I say that to tell you where there's a will, there's a way. There's always a modification. That's the beautiful thing about wellness and the fitness journey that you have to start somewhere to become advanced to get good at it. We're almost there, y'all. I hear the, the clicking. Woo! One more. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. That's it. That's it. Do that at home for about four rounds. And you've targeted your transverse muscles. You've targeted your uh, superficial, your, your superficial abs. Um, you hit your arms here, you hit your legs. The only thing that we didn't really touch was our glutes. You get a little activity, but it's not enough for a glute workout, but that's your ab workout. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Set up those alerts, notifications for any new things. Thank you for liking. And more importantly, you know, I always end everything with saying the same thing. Be a blessing whenever possible. You can bless others without having to tell anyone that you've been a blessing. That's important. Timer says it's over. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you. Just check to you later.